Today we're going to do a simple Metasploit tutorial. So let's start off by firing it up in Kali Linux by typing in MSF console and then it should be starting up the framework automatically. So Metasploit is a super powerful tool. I believe at the moment it has over 1700 exploits. Oh yeah, there it is, 1727. So a cool thing you can start off by doing is just typing in banner and it'll change the banner that it shows. So if I zoom out in here so you can see the whole thing. So as you can see, every time you type it in, the banner will change. Next, the big thing is you want to look at the help command on any program you do. So that way you can see exactly what you're doing and all the different options there are of what you can do. So as you can see, it's got a bunch of different commands you can do. But today we're really going to focus on the show command and the search command right down here. So you can type in help anything. So if you do help show, it shows you that how to use a parameter. So show and then anything else you want it to show that the program has. So we'll start off by going show exploits. <clears throat> Now that it's done showing them all, um, we'll be able to see all the different exploits, all 1,727 that the uh, Metasploit has to offer. So you can go through them all if you want on your own time, but I'm not. Um, but a cool thing is you can show anything. So you can just show payloads, and then it'll pull up all the payloads and show you those. Um, pretty much the same as it did for exploits, but... Um, is different so you can go to um, show anything it's a pretty cool tool but uh, the better one is search so if you go to help search I can type see so you can do anything with search you can do keywords uh, using the app author the CVE the name the platform anything so if I just go to um, search exploits it'll pretty much do the same thing as show and uh, just list them all so now you can see it shows every single exploit just like the same command it did with show as it does with search. But you can do things that are more in depth with search. So you can do search exploits and then let's say you want to do a windows target. So you can specify to only show all the windows, all the window exploits. And for some reason this slow search thing is taking forever. Now that it's loaded, you can see that every single Windows exploit has been pulled up. So this is really powerful if you know, you just already know that you want to do a Windows machine, it's what you have, it's what you want to target, so there's no reason to really go through any other exploits if you don't have to. So um, you can do this with anything, so you can do search FTP exploits. Um, So now you can see that it pulled up all the FTP. So I forgot to go through this earlier. So if you look over here, it's got the date of when it, the um, exploit was created or put into Metasploit. It's got how dependable it is. So normal, great, average. Um, the ones that are really dependent are excellent. And then over here it has a quick little description of what each exploit does. So those all can be really helpful. And um, so if you come across a website that you want to hack and you know it's a WordPress you want to go to search WordPress exploits and then doing this it will do just like the other ones and pull up all the different exploits it had so here are all the different WordPress exploits so if you want to get real technical with it you can go to search WordPress exploits and you can put in the CV here. So let's say you only you know the website's been around for a little while but not too long um, so you narrow it down to about 2015. You can look at all the exploits that are from 2015 only. So that way you know all these have 2008, 2006, 2005 1998 or something like that. There's no reason for you to go back that far if you know they're going to be patched. 
So now it's pulled up all the exploits from 2015, or most of them are right around 2015. So it really does narrow down the searches and makes it a lot easier. So that's pretty much it for today's video on a basic overview of Metasploit and how to use the most basic functions and get the most out of them. Um, but just for uh, future videos, I will go through how to use an exploit, but just to start it off, let's say if you want to use um, this one right here, you, all you have to do is use the use command and then in, input it and do it and it will turn in red so you know that that's what you're in. So thanks for watching, subscribe and like the video.